Life Floss Tube, it's Karen. This is uh, take six, I think, of trying to film this video. I'm not sure why I'm having such a hard time. I think it's just I'm really not in the mood to do a video right now, but I'm home all day, so I thought um, I'll do a video. It's been two months since I did the last one. It's been since before Christmas, and nobody's home today. Darren's working. Courtney's out with her uh, girlfriend. She doesn't live with me, but she's usually here on Saturdays. Um, but <laughs> I'm all by myself today. It's a beautiful day. It's sunshiny out there. And I just felt like doing a video earlier. And now that I've filmed it six times, I'm thinking I this is a bad idea, but I'm going to keep going. And this will be my last take. So... December. I did my last video just before Christmas. Christmas was really good. It was so much better than last Christmas. I was able to buy for everyone I normally buy for. Uh, the Christmas previous, we had Dad's house on the market. Uh, we had to pay all the the bills, you know, pertaining to keeping the house. Um, what am I trying to say? Well, we we like we had to pay the power bill, the water bill, the um, the taxes and up until the time the house sold so we all have our own houses myself and my sister so it was really hard to keep up with all of that and uh, finally we got an offer on the house in December which was awesome we closed mid-January so now it's closed I never have to worry about that house again uh, the new people have moved in, the bills are paid, dad's bills, and my our own bills are now paid too because uh, we got enough out of the sale of the house that we were able to pay off all of our bills and still have a little bit of money left over for renovations and things that we need to replace one of our windows in our house and uh, a couple other minor things. And uh, so that kind of uh, was a really nice month January to be able to get that done so anyway and the end of December we actually I live in uh, just down the street from the ocean but I'm on a high wind area we didn't really know that when we moved into this house but it's really windy where our house sits and December 28th it was we had a big wind storm there was no snow we had no snow on the ground and uh we got up in the morning and every, well, not every shingle, but probably about 80% of the shingles on our roof were on the ground. So we went around, I took a video for the insurance company and uh, Darren called and, and it, luckily it was covered. So they came in the first week of January and replaced our roof and we went with a metal roof instead of shingles because we know that if we got shingles again we're at risk of it happening again because it's so windy in this area so luckily uh, that the insurance company paid for most of that we had to pay the difference to have the metal roof so I think it was only less than five hundred dollars which was really good so our roof is replaced so I feel like I have a brand new house now um, it looks nice it's charcoal and uh, that was December and then January we had New Year's so we had a party at my sister's house with a few friends I had slight too much to drink that night but we still had fun and uh, I won't be drinking again probably till next New Year's so <laughs> yeah there, there's videos but I, I don't know if I, I don't really think I should post those here but it was fun and uh, I only lived down the street from her, so we didn't have a hard time getting home or anything. We just walked home. And that was New Year's. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is um, Christmas. I had stitched my sister, Amirabilia, August Peridot Fairy. And I've seen a couple of you stitch it and post it on the Facebook groups and Instagram and I've been dying to say that I've stitched it as well and I could never show it I couldn't show my progress on it I couldn't feature it in my floss tube videos 
because she watches my video so she would have known about it and I wanted it to be a secret so I finished it I think it was September so three months I had to I had it sitting in the closet all wrapped up ready to go I couldn't wait to give it to her and so one day she was uh, she was in actually it was sitting up against the wall it was all wrapped but it was sitting up against the wall in the in my office and she noticed it and uh, of course I had to tell her that that was her present and she of course it looked like a cross stitch so she knew I stitched or something but she didn't know what it was so she absolutely loved it and if I can possibly figure it a way to post a picture here or up in the corner or somewhere I will post a picture of what it looks like all framed and up on her wall. So January, I'm just trying to think of what else. I don't have, I have a couple notes, but not many. I'm trying to make this a short video. Um, I don't have a whole lot of haul. Uh, so um, January, what else happened? Uh, New Year's. That's pretty much it. The highlight of January was Dad's house closing and being able to pay off all of our bills and, uh, and uh, you know, getting that uh, stress out of our lives because it was pretty stressful. So anyway, so now I haven't worked on any of my previous whips. I started Santa's sleigh in... I think it was December 28th or 29th I started it. This is the one that Darren bought me for Christmas. I picked it out and uh, he gave it to me for Christmas, all kitted up. Um, I loved this cross stitch project. It was so fun to do. It's on a 28 count Lugana. And in it's called, uh, the color is called Mirage. But this is the completed project. It's really, really pretty. Lots of beads. So that is something I'm going to have to get framed fairly soon. So I finished that. Um, other than the August Peridot Fairy, this is the only finish I had, I believe. I also, for Christmas, my daughter had bought me another Mirabilia. It's called the Cottage Garden Fairy. So that's her. So she bought me the pattern. And I went to our local LNS. Well, not so local. An hour and a half away. She, um, Courtney didn't realize that kidding it up would be so expensive. She got me the pattern, and but didn't kit it up, which I told her that was completely fine. I was happy with just the pattern. I could kit it up myself, no problem. So we went to the cross-stitch store um, one day, I think it was January. Yeah, I think it was. And uh, I, bought, I bought the fabric, and I got, um, you know, what's it's um it's also a 28 count raspberry it it's called raspberry light it's a jobelin it's a hand dyed uh, hand dyed pink fabric pink and white so i thought i thought it would look nice on that it actually calls for like calls for light mocha but i don't like I didn't like the beige as much. I think it looks better on the pink. We did a floss toss with the pink fabric and I think it looks really pretty. So we're gonna go with that. I haven't started it yet. So I actually, that was my plan today to start that because I have, I have like, I've got all the beads for it. Really, really pretty beads. It comes with like four different Krennix. Well, one's on the floor, but get that before the cat whoop, before the cat gets it. So there's the four Krennix, and then we've got um, all the floss. I already bobbinated the floss, and it's in one of my floss boxes. So, so that's that. So that 
I possibly could start today. Not really sure yet, but I also started 99 bottles. I can't remember the fabric this is, but Jennifer picked it out when we went to the cross stitch store as well. I've got 11 bottles done and 88 to go. So I'm doing this for Darren because he likes beer. He doesn't drink it very often. He's not an alcoholic or anything like that, but he, he likes the occasional beer and he likes to try a different beer every time. So if we go to a restaurant, he'll try something that he hasn't tried before. So I thought 99 bottles would be kind of fun put up in, in his little area downstairs, his man cave. So that's that. Um, so I've got that started. That I've been doing a bottle a day. So I've only been working on it for about 10 or 11 days. I didn't work on it yesterday. So I might do two bottles today to make up for the bottle I didn't do yesterday. And the reason I didn't do a bottle yesterday is because um, I got off work at 5. And Jennifer had messaged me and asked me if I wanted to go to the cross-stitch store in Moncton, which, like I said, it's about an hour and a half away. And she didn't get off till 5.30. So we really didn't get moving until about 6 last night. So we drove there. And uh, they close at 8. So we got there at 7.30. So we had half an hour to look around. And I had zero plan of buying anything when I got there. And, of course, when I got there, that, that changed. So... Um, I ended up buying, you know, everything's in bags, so excuse the crinkling of the bag. Okay, I had to buy this. I love it. It's Nora Corbett. It's called the Silver Dragonfly, and it is so pretty. There's like four bead, or three bead packs, two Mill Hill Treasures. Uh, there's only six DMC colors, four Krennics and a Whisper Gallery, um, Rainbow Whisper Gallery thread. So I've got the Whisper Gallery, ga, bleh, I've got the Whisper Gallery thread, the Krennix, the Floss, and the Treasures, but I forgot to get the beads last night. The girl that was kitting it up for me did not include the three packs of beads. So I'm gonna have to go back and get those eventually. I'll probably in the next couple weeks um, but I chose, it's actually, um, the fabric is called for is like a, a raw linen, it says, um, a kind of like a beigey color, um, but I kind of didn't want to go with beige, but I went with um, 28 count dusty green, so, and it's, a, it's an even weave, so I'm going with that, I think it would look nice on the green so um so yeah i got uh the colors are very like well purpley blue brown and then there's uh we've got the green like kind of like a greens and a little bit of a violet color krennic and there's these little these little treasures too. So I'm missing one pack of these. So it calls for two packs. So they're ordering it for me and it'll be in, in, in the next week or so. And I'll go pick that up along with my three bead packs and I'll start that. So, oh, and then last time I was at uh, Because You Count, the cross-stitch store in Moncton, um, when I was kidding up the August... Or what was it? the um, cottage garden fairy? I decided to buy this. It's an orange over dyed fabric. It's huge. Do you know why it's huge? Because I decided to start Death by Cross Stitch. As soon as I started it, I instantly regretted it. This is all I have started. I hate it. I hate it. And it, it's not the fact that it, I don't like the pattern. It's too much fabric. So I don't know what to do with it. I put it, I have this 11 by 17 Q-snap, which is 
new. I bought that recently too. Um, but there's too much fabric. I can't tuck it around. I don't know what to do with the fabric. So I have to find a way to either buy a, a wide, I know you, that they sell those Q-snap grime guards. They sell wider ones so that you could tuck your fabric in. I might have to pick up one of those. And I want to get a Lowry stand because I find when I started stitching this, my hands were getting tired because holding the Q-snap with all that fabric, it was like, oh, I don't know. My hands were getting tired. I was, it was too heavy. I couldn't handle it. So I'm just going to buy a stand, something I can snap my Q-snap to and be able to flip it around and, you know, not have to hold it. So I have the Lowry stand in my, uh, in my shopping cart on a so-and-so. So hopefully I will order that sometime this week, maybe. And, uh, that should be it. I don't know how long that'll take me. And the fabric cost me $78. So I don't want to not finish it now because I already started it. And it's a lot of money for a piece of fabric, so I want to finish it. And I think it would look good on the orange fabric, so. I think that's it. Um, looking at my notes. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't have anything else to talk about. I'm not going to wait another two months before doing another video. I'll probably do one. I probably won't do one as often as a lot of you do. I know a lot of you do weekly videos. Um, I don't feel like I have enough to talk about in a weekly video. Um, monthly was probably best for me and then I can show at least a little bit of progress. So hopefully I'll be back in March. Meanwhile, um, hope everybody's doing good and I will continue to watch your videos. Thank you for everyone who subscribed and liked my videos, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.